I'm pregnant. <laughs> the father of the baby is a toilet baby, Cesar, and like I don't care who knows that, except for like most of the people that I know, like I don't want them to know because I'm like horrified by it and like very embarrassed. Yo, what's up, TV? I'm CJ. Blah, blah, blah. I'm about to become a teenage dad. And now, six experts are gonna teach me how to be the one thing that I never had in my own life, a dad. For every Papa quiz I pass, I get a dope-ass tattoo. Welcome to This Is Dad Academy. Excuse me. Oh, snap, it's a little sea jar. See if you wanna be a papa. I know, it's crazy, can you believe it? See you at my school. I understand that if I wanna see the shorty making my baby, I must come correct, which I will, tiny professor. Bye, bye. Bye, I love you, Cesar. So today I'm meeting my first dad expert, and I'm excited, but also annoyed. I'm the wallet. Why did I call you a wallet, you just a man? In the structure of this show, The Dad Academy, I represent the wallet. I'm the financial portion of the dad program, and it's my job to get you financially sound today so that you can become the good dad we know you can be. We have brought you to a place that you can afford on your current budget. Okay. Cesar. What? I think the results are going to shock and horrify you. For real? Yeah. Okay. Cesar, this is it. Oh, snap! This place is awesome! No, this place is not awesome. That's my old crate! What? It's my house? That's a kennel for a dog. This is what I lived in for the first two years of my life, Cesar. I was crate trained. He's calling me Cesar. Is that? I'm comfortable in here. That as it may be, the house is actually this way. Oh, snap, sweet house. Oh, snap, my very own bathroom. Let them eat cake. OK, this is where baby Cesar will sleep. OK. Oh, snap, this is all mine? All right. I'm gonna sign my lease. So, Cesar, how are you finding your... Who wrote on the wall? Uh, that was here when I got here. Okay, Cesar, now, good daddies can't be fibbers. I'm not being a fibber. We need you to take responsibility for your actions. Who wrote on the wall? Cesar did. Which is you. I'm not gonna hit you. Nobody's ever acted like a dad to me before. I guess because I never had a real dad. I am one of six dads. You have six dads. I feel like the luckiest boy in the world. Now, I want you to go out back and pull weeds for $2 an hour. OK, Dad, Cesar. It's nothing I wouldn't ask my own son to do. As a matter of fact, he's out there right now. What? My son, Johnny, is How could you betray me like this? I haven't betrayed you. Blah, 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 blah. What's that? I just shot up your deal so you can't ruin another boy's life by having more boys. If I'm not his son because he's got another son, then I don't have to listen to him. My dad says pulling weeds is exercise. You need to stop exercising your body and start exercising your mind. You want to hit this out? Yeah, I hit it. How's it going with my working men, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Dad, it's Give not, it to me. It's not mine. Give it to me. Cesar, whose is this? It was time to get serious. After we had that conversation about fibbing, I can't lie to you, it's Cesar's. Unbelievable. You young man are coming with me. Give me a break. Cesar, you've come a long way. Yeah. Can't thank you enough for your honesty. OK. Here's $2 for all the weeds. Hey, we should get the families together sometime for a barbecue. I'd like that. Cesar earned those $2 today and his tattoo. Yay! Good work. Thank you, Tiny Professor, AKA Lil Cesar. Pizza, pizza. I have a birthday, Cesar. I don't know what my actual birth age is because my mom threw away my gift certificate. This is Kenny going to a different farm on Wolf One. Okay. So Kenny met a farmer in the tractor, then he met the cow. Straight up, I know you got a suit on and you tricked everybody else. But I know you a baby. Oh, that's good. But I'm excited to be a daddy. Who's my expert today? Where are you at, kid? My name's Patty. I'm a mother and a social worker. And I'm optimistic about working with Cesar today. Hey, 
Caesar. I'm Patty. Welcome to Dad Academy. Hey, show now he's another boy, finally. I'm not a boy. I'm a woman. Oh, OK. I'm a woman, too. Oh, touch my vagina. Touch my vagina. I'm not going to do that. This is a standard issue psychological testing doll. And this is what Caesar is going to be working with today. Oh, it's that. This. Is that Anderson Cooper? Why would you think this was Anderson Cooper? Because he's white and he's got flaxen hair. He's white? Yeah, that baby's white. A father needs to spend a lot of time with his child. No. No? No! OK, you're going to be in this room for four hours. I don't want that baby. Do you want to be a good father? No, I don't want to be a good father. Do you wish you had a good father? Yeah. This is going to be your baby for the day, and you're going to spend some real quality time with it, OK? For Caesar, I knew that four hours was a long time. Yeah. Everything bolted down in here. I can't get out. I'm Charles Manson. I'm Charles Manson. I was like mad angry at everything. Why don't you stop smiling? If you were a real baby, you'd be crying, feeling your ass with What is infinity? Because that's what this feels like. It's been two hours, and I'm really proud of Caesar. We're halfway home. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Chicken head, bitch ass chicken head. In hour three, I was just exhausted, emotionally drained. You're holding me back, baby. You're the only one who understands what I'm going through, and yet you're the one who caused this nightmare, baby. In hour four, I fell in love with my son. Caesar? <laughs> Get the f away from me. Caesar, it's me, Patty. Congratulations. You can give that right back to me now. Why would I give you my baby? That's well, it's crazy. it's not a real baby, of course. Oh, it's... you're going to say that to his face? It's not what a real. What is this, Pinocchio? I'm not calling the baby Pinocchio. I'm saying that why don't you give that baby a big old hug and give it on back to me, OK? OK. <gasps> Oh! It's okay, stuck to my head, Brad. Don't, don't, don't get don't away move. from no, me. I'm not going to do anything. Get don't away move. from me. This baby's Caesar, lip. don't move. <laughs> Whew. Well, he did it, and I couldn't be prouder of him. Four entire hours, and it seems like this challenge has been accomplished. Good work. Oh, snap. Did I pass? Happy <laughs> Dad Academy. I straight up shock you out, baby. You were scary. Yo, fair enough. You gave me a shot, and I'm grateful for it, tiny professor. So good, Caesar. So who's today's expert? Where are we at? My dick's like you need to find these ladybugs in the grass. Let us tell her. I could have sworn tiny professor told me to go to the beach for my new lesson, and nobody's there. It was like our first misunderstanding. Sorry I'm late, Cesar. I'm lactic acid. I'm here to get you in shape. I want to whip you up. You want to be a father? Yeah. Pushing the stroller, taking them to school, soccer practice. I'm going to make my kid proud by getting all jacked up. Get jacked up. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Blah, 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 Don't blah. shoot. No, 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 no. Don't shoot okay, the surfboard. I got carried Don't, away. You got carried away. Are. Yo, this crazy ass dude seems to be matching my energy. I'm responding. Oh, I can handle it. I'm dedicated to being the best trainer I can be in Long Beach. Blah, blah. <laughs> what am I doing? I love it. You're the first dad on Dad Academy that I'm ready to listen to. Let's get ripped. One, getting him a souvenir cup. Two, getting him a real sugary drink. Now switch it up. Paramore's like a cool band. They're right. great. Paramore coming out on tour. If your child is giving you a hard time, and it's going to happen, you're going to have ups and downs. Do it for your son! You my son, son! I won't get ribbed like 50 cent. 50 cent? So, Cesar, tell me what you know about surfing. Surfers get crazy. They get chicks. They get women. Kelly Slater was with Pamela Anderson. Oh, snap. That old ass bitch with that crazy ass face. You know what? She works hard. She does weights. She lives out in Malibu. OK. She cares about the ocean. Uh, we done did done that, dad. That's a lot of deal. Where are you going? Listen to me. Cesar. What? Let's do a push up. One. Two, three, four. Are you smoking? I don't know. Get that out of your face. Son of a bitch. You say your boyfriend was a jerk again. I'm a straight up villain. Blah, 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 blah. You've been good all day, and, and now you're beginning to act up. I can tell by your body language that you're upset. I don't know how to swim. OK. It's just ironic because I was born in the toilet water, 
and then I couldn't be done happy, be able to go swimming. I feel stupid and embarrassed like that time I took a dookie in my pants. We've all been there. This is our. I took a dookie in my pants in first grade, and they were corduroys. Look, I'll hold your hand. We'll walk out there and get our feet wet. We don't have to jump in. Just real easy. Just dipping our toes in. <laughs> it's not so bad. It's not bad. No. All right, let's go back. Cesar, there's no, no turning back. <laughs> Cesar will remember this day as the day that he learned to swim. Yo, straight up, let's get drunk, baby. Why is your papa? Okay. Yo, that tiny professor was right. How am I gonna be a dad if I don't even know my own? And there was only one person who knew who he was. I found my mommy in a halfway house, but her answer was not as simple as I had hoped. You got a girl pregnant? You didn't even bring a girl over for your mother to meet the girl before you get her knocked up? I'm not allowed to see her. It's part of the show. It's part of that's what's dad academy. That's why I'm here. It's oh, to... that's good. That's good. Let the dads get their own show. I had to take care of you all by myself. And it was the greatest moment of my life, my boy. I'm living in a halfway house. I'm doing great. I wish I could just stay here with you. I don't want to go back out there, but Dad Academy says I got to find my daddy. I could help you. Really? Yeah, let's talk about it. But I think we should get out of here. But aren't we, are you allowed to leave here? Fortunately, Cesar is very distractible. This is my place, OK? Wait, really? I own this half my house. Mama is doing good. Mama's a baller, huh? Cesar came at a really good time for me. OK, watch the door. And okay. uh, Mama's going to go out the window. Wait, why are you going out the window? Oh, strap, we're straight up villains. Keep up a brisk pace. Yo, we outside. Like, tell me who my dad okay. is now. There were a lot of men, Cesar. I don't know who your daddy is. Well, what about your patience, Mom? I am a patient, you idiot. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Baby mama's got to fly. Do whatever you got to do. Find him, Cesar. Blap, 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 blap. I'm the only villain in this neighborhood. Mom, I'm coming for you. I just can't run fast because my pants are so low. Pull him up. It was disappointing not to know who my dad was, but it was great to reconnect with my mom. And that meant it was time for another sweet tattoo! The producer said that this tattoo said, sort of coming to terms with my dad, which I almost did. I still can't read. Welcome to Dad Academy graduation. I'm Walter, but you know me better as The Wallet. Why are you talking to me like this? It's your graduation. Yo, it's graduation day. I'm excited I'm gonna see my baby mama. But first, I gotta get through this ceremony. You know, the headmaster's done such a great job, it's hard to remember he's a baby. I wanna go home! that weird-ass bang make you look like a weirdo gay Marine now. Oh, you know, don't call me a gay Marine. My mother was in the Marines. She was stationed on the USS Malibu. Have some respect. So you don't have to prove anything to me, Cesar. I don't even remember getting any lessons from you. I love you no matter what. Awesome! You can play video games all day. Cool! Get hooked on methamphetamines. Good. I still care about you. I'm unconditional love. He's my favorite! He's my favorite! Well, hear me out. Unconditional love is just one member of your team here. Were you to follow his advice exclusively, it could lead you down some dangerous roads. OK. Graduations are boring. I'm out! You see, so oh, you won't see. So. Let's go destroy stuff. But I won't love you any less if you do. Oh snap! Welcome to Dad Academy After Dark. Caesar's fall from grace. Now Caesar needs to blow off some steam, so I'm taking him to some rich guy's party in the Hollywood Hills. Ron Funches, Tiny Professor, those are two motherfuckers I could trust. Sometimes you gotta be tested to find out what type of man you are. I'll take you right back. I'm not going back to no graduation, man. I'm running away from that. I don't need that kind of shit. Oh, snap! It's Charlie from the Chocolate Factory! Jabba the Slut! Oh, no! It's Kung Fu Panda! Get the fuck out of my way, man! Oh, snap. What's going on, ladies? How you oh, feeling? Oh, shit! Ladies and gentlemen, it's James Franco from Spring Brokers, bro. Check it. Gosling from Drive. How are you? 
I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, <laughs> you're the best, dude. You're hilarious. Hi. <laughs> oh my God, Ron Funch is my favorite TV lawyer. Dude, you totally rule. Well, you're very scary to me. You're like a big couch. I love you. Here's costumes from the original motion picture, Dick Tracy. So just put those on. We kind of got a film thing going on, but uh, film's dead to us, so just keep that in mind, okay? I'm rejecting my TV show. Cool, do you want some crank? You're the VIP of this party, and I want you to do cocaine right now. This is terrible. I don't know, man. I'm about to become a father. And now I got this TV show, and I'm supposed to graduate Dad Academy. But I also want to reject all those responsibilities. Here's what I'm hearing. I'm angry. I'm good looking. I'm famous. Let's party. Yeah, let's party. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what the wallet says. Cool. Yes. <laughs> that was a lot. Oh. Ah, good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Letting Caesar snort crank was a mistake. There might be a lot of movie villains in here, but I'm the only real life villain in this party. Blah, 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 blah. At this point, I'm not so sure Caesar's gonna come back to the graduation. Oh snap, a doghouse! Yo, let me get in that doghouse. Well, sorry, it's taken. Come on. No, I don't. Want... I'm in the doghouse right now. Please leave. I'm Caesar. My name is, I'm Denise, I'm just, I'm Denise. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. I was tray trained. Oh, that's cool. Yo, that's a cool Katniss costume. Yeah, I'm Katniss from the movie Katniss. Yeah, from Hunger Games. That's what I meant. I miss my real clothes, though. Believe it or not, I'm not normally dressed like Katniss. Then why don't you go home? I don't even know how to get here. I'm not even from here. I flew on an airplane to come meet my Aunt Elizabeth. Like she didn't even come meet me at the airport. Now I'm living in a doghouse. Right? It's like you can't trust adults. You can't crush the adult? You can't trust adults. Oh, you, well, yeah, you can. You just have to trust the right ones. Are you scared? I need, like, a parent or a guardian to get me out of here. I want to be wild and run away from responsibility, but at the same time, I'm like, this girl needs my help. I think you know what to do. Denise, this is my friend Ron Funches. Are you from the original motion picture Dick Tracy starring Warren Beatty and his girlfriend at the time, Madonna? You're good at movies. Thank you. Ron Funches, what should I do? This poor girl needs help. Answers on your arm, man. Why do you think we tattooed you? Making good choices, setting limits. I'm gonna get you out of here, Denise. You trust me? Yes, Cesar. All right, Denise. Okay. I can feel my parental instincts kicking in. And I see a little girl in need, and I want to straight up help you. Because I'm a villain. But I'm a good villain. Saying I'm sorry is really difficult for me, because it's like my main pet peeve. I know I've been gone for a number of hours, but my life has really changed in that time. I love you all, and I hope I could be a good man like you all are. Caesar! Oh. Liz! Oh my god, I love your golden hat. Mm -hmm. But listen, like hats aside, I heard the note that you tied to my niece, Denise. You proved to like the entire world and the television audience that like you're more than a dad. I love you. But like basically I have like deep feelings for you, and like I want you to know that like at this point. <clears throat> what? Like at this point, <clears throat> like at this point, oh my God, I think I'm going into labor at this point. <laughs> that wasn't how the sentence was gonna end, but like I do think I'm going into labor at this point. Excuse me for one oh, moment. Snap. No, I'll come with you. I think you need to push it out like a duty. Oh my God, thank you. Well, what is it? It's a toilet, baby. So I know it's mine. Born into the toilet. Let's smoke blunt! Hey, gorgeous. Hi. Thank you for being my dad. Hey.